Not all debt is bad. I'm going to say that again. Not all debt is bad. In today's video, I'm going to break down the two types of mortgages you can get for buy to left properties and which one could end up costing you more in the long term. Hi guys, I'm Jim. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to break down the difference between good debt and bad debt and why you want as much good debt as possible and the two main types of mortgages you can get on buy to left properties which are repayment and interest only mortgages and which is the best for buy to left properties. Before I get into any of that, it would massively help me out if you could just just lightly feather that subscribe button. So, debt. Isn't all debt bad? Well, no. There is a difference between good debt and bad debt. So, what are they? Well, bad debt stuff like your credit cards, car loans, high interest payday loans. Basically, bad debt is anything which is used to buy something which goes down in value over time and doesn't give you a monthly cash flow. Whereas good debt is the opposite. So, traditionally, this is seen with a mortgage. So, mortgage can be used to purchase a property. Now, property prices typically go up over the long term. And not only this, they also give you a monthly cash flow. This is something most people don't think about when it comes to wealthy people. Wealthy people have lots of good debt. And it should be your aim as a property investor to get lots of good debt too. Because this is the debt which is going to build your wealth over the long term. Now this debt is fantastic because you can get a thing called leverage on it. And leverage is just where you can borrow money against the value of an asset. And this is traditionally done, like we said before, with a mortgage. Now typically with buy to left properties, you put 25% deposit down. So that means you'll be getting 75% of the value of the property on a mortgage. And this is often known as loan to value. And this is one of the reasons why property is a fantastic investment because you only have to put 25% in of the value of the asset in order to control it. So what is a repayment mortgage? Well, a repayment mortgage is a typical mortgage. And when most people think of mortgages, they think of repayment mortgages because the bank will lend you a certain amount of money and charge you an interest on top of that. So each month when you pay the bank back, you'll be paying some of the principal down and some of the interest down. Now, repayment mortgages work really well for people who own their own property which they live in because the goal for them is to be mortgage free by the time they retire. Because normally when you retire, your income doesn't go up. So it's probably a sensible decision to make sure you're mortgage free by this point. It also works well for the bank from a risk point of view because they wouldn't want to be given a 25 year mortgage to someone who's just retired. So let's have a look what repaying a repayment mortgage back looks like. So this is just a basic mortgage calculator on Money Saving Expert. So if you guys want to check this out yourself, I'll put a link in the description. So we're going to go with a mortgage debt of £75,000. So that roughly means that the property you purchased would be around about £100,000 with a deposit of 25%, which is typical for buy to let. We're going to go for a mortgage term of 25 years, which is pretty standard. We're going for a repayment mortgage. We're going to test this at a higher interest rate just to see because it's always worth doing that. Uh, we're not going to put any fees in just to keep this simple at the moment. So... This is, this is our result. So you're going to be paying £439 each month back. But part of that's going to go to the principal and part of that's going to go on the interest. And then below it, you'll see how much you'll pay over the long term. So in order to borrow £75,000, you're going to end up paying £131,581 with £56,581 of that being interest. So now we can see here that this graph at the start doesn't really start, doesn't really go down that quick. It's only sort of after five years, it starts to go down quicker. And the reason for that is because the pot of money is bigger at the start, which obviously makes sense. But this means that the interest being charged is on that bigger pot of money. So within the first five years, you actually spend more of your money paying off the interest than you do actually on the core principal, the capital which you've lent from the bank. Whereas towards the end, this is pretty much all you're paying down that capital at the end. And as you can see here, it's not until not until five years we've we paid off nearly nearly ten thousand pounds because most of that is going to be interest. So what is an interest only mortgage? Well, it's really simple. An interest only mortgage is where you only ever pay the interest on top of the amount of money you borrowed. So in the example we looked at on the repayment mortgage, if you borrowed seventy five thousand pounds at a five percent interest rate, you would only ever pay the interest on top of that. So let's have a look what that would look like. So we've got a seventy five thousand pounds going for interest only and it's an interest rate of five percent so you'd be paying 313 pound each calendar month so this is why interest only mortgages work well for buy to let properties because you can have more cash flow each month because you're not paying any of the principal down on the actual loan you've taken from the bank the other good reason why interest only mortgages work well for buy to let properties is because inflation actually ends up paying down your loan because property prices roughly double every single 10 years so as those prices go up the amount you owe on the property will actually go down so in this example, if you've got, if you purchase a property at £100,000, in theory, in 10 years time, it should be worth £200,000. Now, if you were to take a 75% loan to value mortgage out on this, you would take £150,000 out of the property. So you could pay off your £75,000 and then you'd still have £75,000, which you could then invest in another buy to let property, 
to go again. This is ideally how you build up your portfolio using interest-only mortgages. So to summarize, the two main reasons why interest-only mortgages are better than repayment mortgages for buy to lets is the fact you get more cash flow every single month and you're letting inflation pay down your mortgage for you. So having a repayment mortgage on your buy to let could actually be costing you more over the long term because you don't get the extra cash flow each month, which you could invest into other areas like a broad S&P 500 index fund, and you don't get the benefits of inflation paying down your mortgage for you. Now, obviously, none of this is financial advice, and you need to do your own due diligence on this, but it is my opinion that interest-only mortgages are the best way to invest in buy-to-let properties. But ultimately, it's whatever helps you sleep at night, and if it helps you sleep by knowing that you're paying some of that principal down every single month, then that is absolutely fine. There is no one-size-fits-all solution for this. It does depend on your own situation. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video about repayment mortgages versus interest-only mortgages. And your aim should be to get as much good debt as possible as a property investor. Like I said earlier in this video, it really helped me out if you could subscribe to the channel below. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.